What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel today. I'm super excited that we're gonna be doing a review on this laser engraver from Algo. All right, so just to be clear and as a disclaimer, the laser itself was sent to me by Algo for review, uh, but with no obligations at all. The review itself is going to be 100% my honest opinion and it's not going to be whether I think you should buy it or not. It's simply informational. This is what I've experienced with it and the decision will be 100% on you. So let's get started. All right, so first off, the uh, installation of the laser. The package comes very well done. It comes in a very foamy, uh, protected package, and I don't think you will have any issues with anything coming to you uh, broken. The frame itself, the pieces are really strong and really sturdy, so even if something were to happen, this is not going to break easily or bend or anything at all, so you can be sure that it will arrive to your place in one piece or several pieces I guess, but the way it should arrive. Putting it all together could not be any easier. It'll take about 10 to 15 minutes, uh, and it re really is just putting a whole bunch of screws together, putting the X and Y and everything, all the cable management is super easy as well. Uh, there is one thing to be very, very careful about that I made that mistake. The screws to attach the board to the frame on if they have not fixed this by the time you get yours, if you do end up getting it, you will get uh, longer screws to attach this to uh, the frame and then a smaller bag with shorter screws. So be very careful to use the shorter screws so that you don't mess it up. I made that mistake, I used the longer screws and I messed up the circuit board that's inside. Thankfully, they did send me a new one and I was able to get it working again, but beware to use the shorter screws for the board. Okay, so as far as the using of the laser, I wanna kinda share this review or share my opinions of it uh, coming from the perspective of a brand new, uh, zero experience uh, laser user. And if that's you, 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 I hope you can find a lot of value out of this uh, because I had never owned a laser before and this one was a lot of uh, learning experiences that I had uh, to get it to work to where I feel a little bit more comfortable. I'm still not 100%, which the most that you will have to learn is in the software area, uh, learning how to uh, position it and power and speed and all those things that you do need to learn uh, in order to maximize the use of your laser. But as you do that, honestly, I cannot, uh, I can tell you that this laser put up with all that. I used it a lot over the last few weeks to make a few things and I'm pretty sure a lot of those things that I did use, I did do with it, were probably a little much, but the laser put up with it and did a great job and not once gave me any issues. It did not turn off, it didn't go crazy, uh, and it's still going. So uh, I think that the quality of the laser itself, uh, like right here, it is very, very good. Uh, and to be only at five watts, uh, I have no complaints. Seriously, mm -hmm. I'll, I'll share with you a few of the things that I've done, that I've cut and, and engraved, but I, I made this one for a trip that we, my wife and I did to Universal, and the part that impressed me the most was how he engraved all of this black area for the head of uh, clearly Harry Potter over here, but he, he just engraved all of this, and he did it really, really well, and everything is nice and sharp. The, the name right here as well is nice and deep, like you can feel the engraving, where you can even fill this up with whatever colors or whatever it is that you want to fill them up with to make it even better. Uh, definitely, uh, once you get the hang of using the laser, you can really maximize it. This is the DIY version. Uh, there are lasers that are a lot more powerful than this one, and I think that this is a great, great starting point for anybody who is just getting started with uh, laser engraving. One thing to note about this laser, I don't know if all the lasers come with it. Again, this is my very first experience with a laser. I noticed that it has this uh, key that you can take out and the laser will not work unless you turn it back to on. Uh, so I think that's a really cool safety feature. It also has this uh, emergency shut off button right here that if obviously in case of it needing to be stopped right away, you just push it and it will go off right away and it does have the power button. It also comes with this antenna that is supposed to be able to connect with your phone and Wi-Fi and you're supposed to be able to do those from your phone, like to do some working, some engraving from your phone. But I am not 100% sure how to make it work. I've tried, 
Uh, they even have a video, a tutorial video on how to connect it. And even with that video, I was not able to, con to get it connected. I am not the most tech savvy person when it comes to these things. But uh, to be honest with you, I don't know how much I would be doing on my phone anyway. But I mean, I haven't tried it, so I don't know what I'm missing out on. Uh, I'll, I'll keep trying to connect it and maybe I'll do a, like an update later on. But for, so far, that's the one thing I have not been able to do that the laser says it can do. I have not been able to do it. Here's a few things to note, and it has nothing really to do with this laser. It has to do with, you know, thinking whether you should get it or not. I mean, for me, right, like even though I already have it, these would be great things to think about before getting a laser, any laser that you want. Uh, think about the space that you're going to need. This laser in particular is a 400 by 400 millimeters of working surface, but it's still a little bit longer than that. This laser is about 22 inches by 24 inches. Now, this laser does not come with a bag and a, you know, extraction system or anything like that. So when you do use it, you have to have a very well ventilated area. In my case, I'm in a garage. So I open the garage door all the way and I have the fan behind me running constantly and I have to still go out like both, well, out of the way inside my house until it's done. And when I come, I have to use a respirator because it does build up quite a bit. So that is something to really be aware of before uh, getting into this hobby. All right, so you did get your Algo Laser Engraver and you're ready to use it. And what comes in the package on top of, of course, the laser, it comes with uh, the of course the charger and the connection to your laptop um, it comes with these very fashionable glasses protection for your eyes mm -hmm. what did I say fashionable right it also comes with a few consumables it comes with a uh, bottle opener a couple of keychains and a dog tag that you can also engrave because this can engrave metal apparently I have not tried a metal but I'm very excited to try and get out it comes with the wrench of some kind for something I didn't really use this at all I'm not sure what it is for uh, same thing with this little screwdriver that I also don't know what it is for I didn't use it and didn't seem to be missing it and a brush to clean your project once it's done lastly it comes with a piece of plywood that to get you started like I've Clearly, Hello. I used it to get myself started on making some things and I'll go over what I made and the mistakes I made along the way so that you can possibly and hopefully avoid those same mistakes. All right, so let's talk about the projects I did do during these last few weeks. And so the first thing that I, that I did, as you can see here, I tried engraving, but it's very, very uh, light. I did, wasn't sure about the speed or about the, the power of the laser that I could use, so it was very light. The second thing I did, was this. I tried cutting and engraving, and as you can see here, the, uh, the quality of this engraving is not good. One of the first mistakes I made, or I don't even know if it's the first or one of them, but a mistake I made was to use the wrong format for the images that I was putting in the software to a specific format to get better results. So this one did not come out very well, but the cutting itself came out pretty good. Uh, the piece of plywood kind of ripped off a little bit here as I was trying to cut it because I didn't, it didn't really cut all the way through. Uh, but it, I mean, the cut was there and it was pretty nice. The second project or the second test I did was this one, which I thought would be a really cool ornament to put in my tree. Uh, unfortunately, I think that this has to do more with the airflow and the ventilation more than the actual power and speed of the laser but it burned all around this place and it was just not looking it not it does not look good Mis another mistake i made is that this one i just got lazy and i actually didn't think it would be that big of a deal because i did not give this laser enough credit and i did not put anything underneath my table or like in between my table and uh, the piece and it went all the way through and as you can see it made a huge hole in my bench. It's filled up right now, but you can tell there that it goes deep. And uh, that, that just tells you about the strength of this 5 watt laser. So imagine if you go any higher than 5 watt, you're gonna be dealing with a pretty powerful laser. I then attempted to, uh, with a little bit of a thicker stock, I attempted to make this sign that didn't turn out very well and I messed it up afterwards. 
uh, but it's supposed to be minionized with the Renault family again here, uh, white design. This is when I realized that I needed to really invest a couple of dollars. So I bought SVG uh, images and that's when this one came about and turned out really, really well. Uh, like I said, the engraving of the hair, it was just, I could not, I actually was super impressed. I thought maybe it would, I don't know, I thought it would just shut off because it's too much or something. I don't know why I thought that, but I, I did. And the engraving of the letters is just nice and sharp and, and defined. It's not, you know, there was very little burn marks all around, a, a little bit of sanding and that fixed it, but I was very, very happy with it. All right, so that's pretty much all I got for you with this laser. I think it's a great option if you're looking for a starting uh, laser engraver for yourself or for somebody else. The price point, I think it's really good. I have no affiliation other than having gotten it for free that with the company I have no code, I get nothing in return if you do buy it, but I'm pretty sure you will not regret buying this particular one uh, because it has worked really well. And I made sure to use it quite a bit before I sat down to make this review so I was sure about what I was talking about. And I can tell you as a first time laser user, I'm very happy with this one. So I really hope that this information helps you make a decision and if you're like searching for a laser that you could buy uh, that is not going to break your bank, I highly do recommend this one. Uh, and if you end up getting it, let me know in the comment section what you think of it, if you agree with me or not. Uh, also add me on Instagram and tag me on anything that you are doing with this laser. Uh, I would love to hear from you. Um, hey, and if you enjoy these kind of videos, reviews that I do occasionally and projects that I'm going to be doing, I have a, an epoxy because it's going to be my first time. So if you want to see me trying maybe not to mess up an epoxy table, um, make sure you subscribe because that's coming up soon. And uh, hey, happy holidays. I hope you have a great one. I wish you all the best for 2024 and I'll see you next year.